Hi, uh, my name's Claire Owen and I am the project manager for the perioperative workstream for our EPR. And I'd just like to show you a short demonstration of how you would go about listing a patient for a procedure using an order entry form. So most patients will be listed in an outpatient appointment setting. So it's likely that the clinician is going to be on this outpatient M page. These are called M pages in here. And I am in a patient record. This is Mr. Charlie Owen. If I was going to place an order, the most likely thing to do is to navigate down here to this new order entry component. If I click on that and I start typing what I want, I can put in a keyword such as knee and it will bring up all the knee procedures. I could put in, as you saw there, arthroscopy and it will bring up arthroscopic procedures. So that's the most common way of doing it. The other way that you can use is to go to requests and care plans, click on that on the blue menu and then click on add. This gives you access to the folders that have been built. So if I click on this folder icon here, these are all the care plans and orders that are built and we're interested in the surgical catalogue. If I click on that, you can see it's been split into elective and emergency procedures. But just look at the emergency procedures for a second and I go to, say, general surgery. What I want to point out is it's the way it's laid out. You have the procedure title, Gen S for general surgery. The S after the order just means that it's a surgical order as opposed to any other order and EM means that it's an emergency. And the reason that's important is because the questions that are tied to that procedure will be different for an emergency procedure. Obviously, there will be an NC pod classification, for example. It'll also be shorter than a, a standard elective listing. So always make sure that when you're selecting the procedure, that if you are selecting the right one, don't select an emergency if it's not, because that patient will then sit on to an emergency request list queue to be booked rather than an elective. If I use this arrow here, it takes me back <coughs> and I'm going to go to an elective procedure, uh, say trauma and orthopaedics, and these are all the trauma and orthopaedic procedures that have been built. Now the language that's been used has been picked up from the List Me app, so hopefully it's stuff that you are familiar with. That's one way of doing it. If I go back to my new order entry, sorry, just go back. And let's do it from here. <laughs> so let's say I'm going to do a knee arthroscopy and it's going to just be a standard diagnostic. I want a diagnostic knee arthroscopy. I'm going to click on that and what happens is it places that order up here into what you might like to think of as a shopping basket. If I click on that that's what I'm ordering and I'm going to sign it to say, yep, I do want to do that. Then it brings up this screen and this little blue uh, circle with a white cross in it. That's telling us that the order details are not complete. So if I click on that, the actual listing slip appears. Anything in yellow, remember, is a mandatory field, so it has to be completed. So with laterality, we're going to say this is a left. The priority is routine. Uh, the clinical priority code is going to be over four months. The surgical area, I'm going to say this patient is going to be done at Blackburn. Suitable for either site? Yes, they are. The consultant surgeon, well, the patient's actually admitted at the moment under Mr. Thomas, so we will pretend that Mr. Thomas is doing that by searching for him. And there he is. Anticipated anaesthesia, it's going to be a general. Now, there are lots more questions on here that you are more than welcome to complete. So it's diagnostic. You might want to put a diagnostic code in there if the procedure is purely diagnostic. <laughs> you can change the length of time you feel that operation is going to take. You can put in a different operating surgeon, etc. But only the mandatory fields are yellow and those are what you have to complete. So this is going to be a day case waiting list. A pre-op assessment is not needed. And I'm going to now sign that order. And as we can see, in the 
plans and requested actions section of this end page, it's now appeared here. Also, if I go to form browser here, nope, not form browser, all orders, requests and care plans. Ah, there we go, requested care plans. It shows me my order sat here and it tells me that this order is available now to be scheduled for an appointment. So that listing, if I double click on that, it should show me. Yep, it shows me everything that I've put in there. That patient now sits onto a elective request list queue where the elective admissions team will pick that up and schedule that for theatre. Thank you for watching that demonstration everyone and I hope you found it helpful. If you want any further information, you can find that on our EPR SharePoint site available through Ollie, or you can follow us on Twitter.